Hi, Casey. Hi. I'm Elisa. Um, I would like to know how do you deal with um, feeling burnt out and how do you find balance in like work, family, and other aspects of your life? Um, I don't, I actually don't feel burnt out that often. Um, pretty rare. I mean, I can get fried. I mean, on a Friday night, I can be pretty tired from a week. A um, couple things at the work. Um, Family balance stuff is hard. I might get up really early in the morning uh, and work out and kind of read the papers and that's all essentially before my kids are up or about when they wake up is when I'm done. Um, and that allows me to spend time with them in the mornings and if I want to take them to school in the mornings, it's great. Um, I travel a lot, but when I'm in LA, tonight's an exception, when I'm in LA, without fail, uh, I have dinner. Uh, I, I don't really do business dinners. I have dinner at home with my kids and my wife. And then even if I go and get on the computer or read emails or read work stuff after they go to bed, that's fine. But like if at six o'clock I'm home for dinner and from that time till they go to bed is my time with them. And in the mornings and on the weekends I'm around. Um, I'm not that social, so I don't like, like I don't go to a lot of games. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I've been to one Laker game this year, zero Dodger games. I mean, I, don't, I could go to a lot, I don't go to any. And it's just kind of not what I'm into. I don't try and do a lot of fri frivolous dinners. I try and be pretty sort of efficient with my time when I have it. Um, traveling is probably the hardest part of it. I probably travel 120 days a year, maybe a little less, but definitely pretty close to that number. Um, all over the world. I mean, I've been, it's April 20th or whatever it is today. I've been out of the country five times already this year, essentially around the world twice. And that's, that's my job, though. Um, and that's the hardest part of balancing it, because and what I do is I frankly suffer myself to get home as quickly as possible. So I don't go, like, I was in Southeast Asia for four days. I don't sightsee. I don't go screw around. I'm there for what I'm there for, and then I leave as quickly as possible to get home as soon as possible. Um, I think part of the reason I don't get burnt out is I really, I really like what I do, and I'm really crazy competitive. Um, and so, I mean, Rich knows this. I always thinking about our business in all sorts of areas, sending them emails about soccer stuff and sending other people emails about stuff, and I'm always kind of energized by what we do, and I'm really competitive, so that keeps me going. It doesn't mean I don't take time for myself or we don't go on vacation, but um, um, I think if you like what you do, you get less burnt out because you get less tired of it, just in general. Um, the balance stuff is hard. There's no, look, there's no secret sauce. There's no special formula. I don't think anybody has it really figured out well. Um, you do the best for what you can do for your life um, or what I can do for my life. And I promise you, if I ask my kids, it's not enough. And if you ask people at work, it may not be enough either. So, like, you got to just <laughs> do the best you can. It's a, really, it's a really hard thing. And, you know, look, things like constant communication make it worse. But um, I don't walk around my house with my Blackberry. I don't. I leave it in my, I have a room that's my office at my house. And on the weekends, my BlackBerry's in there. Now, will I check it three or four times on the day on the weekend? Sure. Everybody has my home phone number. They can call the house, and if they need me, I, I'm not. I'm not checking every three. Believe me, there's almost nothing that's going to happen that needs me to respond in five minutes. So I'm spending time with my kids. Um, when I go to sleep, I don't. My BlackBerry's not next to my bed. It's downstairs in a different room. Like I don't. I'm not that guy who wakes up to go to the bathroom and checks the BlackBerry at night. Like I, I can't. You got to know how to turn it off and shut it down and just kind of be your own person and. It, it is a hard thing. It's one of the harder things to deal with, though, for sure. Yep.